should I say a quick prayer for this week is this week it's been absolutely bananas there's a bunch of the releases that I hate and I know a lot of you resellers are gonna hate as well the kind of releases that um the they're going to sell out which gives the illusion that they're going to be able to be flippable but they really do not have any profit there you're going to be struggling to be making your own money back um so um uh, start off with this release here this was when was this thursday i don't know dog uh wednesday some day of the week the kd7 easy money um dope colorway for sure um people were thinking it was going to be kd's last my um nike model so they were going to try and to be scooping it up thinking of that but really even if that happened I, I don't see it i wouldn't see it even flipping for a profit anyway but uh especially now there's no profit here so i just want to get that out of the way because i'm maybe some of you guys fell for that that was earlier in the week and then friday we had the release for the play clothes and saucony 5000 strange fruit my favorite is the gray one um i think i i like the what they did with the color blocking for sure um, yeah, so these really don't have any resale value either, but they're going to sell out. I hate that because I, I either want to be able to cop on heavy discount or um, have that shoe retain a little bit of its value if I'm copying from my own personal collection. So these, if you wanted them, make sure you grab them. Remember they're uh, available and um, don't flip them. Another shoe that sold out but has no resale value is the Nike SB in Quarter Snacks. Um, Dunk Low, definitely a clean kick. Just something I personally have too many of or would rather have something else in this style. Um, really, I already have the Concepts Ewing, so it looks a lot like it. I mean, the color blocking, similar colors, whatever. I mean, it's a different shoe, I get it. But all right, so this, another Dunk. We have the Nike ESB Dunk Low Premium Beijing. I believe this is going to be about $100 retail. And there actually might be some resale on these. These are going to be... Um, mm, I'm going to go with 150 on the resale market. Um, yeah, 150 175 maybe is what I'm going to say. Um, kind of hard to judge, but yeah. Alright, I'm just checking with LeBron early links. Oh, so, and then we have, I just thought I'd throw this in here, because I got tricked on the base sizes for the Iridescent Blazer. This is the, the back to school, uh, the, the notebook dunk. Looks a lot like a release that we've already seen. But this is only going to be grade school only, and I think if you're trying to get this for your little boy, or little girl, um, definitely grab them tomorrow. You might want to wake up early, too. I mean, what are you going to go for? What the LeBrons for yourself? Are you going to hook up little boy with the, the copy book dunk? I don't know. That's all. Leave that decision up to you. And we'll keep it moving. Keep it moving. We got the A6 collaboration with Offspring. And I believe the other pair is an Onitsuka Tiger. This is the Desert Dawn. I believe this one is the Desert Dawn. This is like the Desert Pack. Um, but the obviously the A6 Jelly 5 is the one that has value. But um, since we're going to be seeing, um, you know, the regular, like, the uh, mid-150, 160 range for the shoe, expect the resale to just drop a little bit. Um, so about 25, or 25, 250 maybe at the very most. Again, very most we'll be seeing it. Probably about 250 we'll be looking for, these, for this shoe. Um... It's not, I mean, this is going, again, going to be a combination of collab plus limited quantity. So the people who really want it are going to, unfortunately, probably have to pay just because of how the nature of how ASICs overseas ASICs collabs drop here. It's always a train wreck. Um, I don't think one of them has been ever easy to get. So that's just how it is for ASICs collabs, unfortunately. Now, um, this shoe probably tricking a few people, especially with the um, value of the first collab. This is the Adidas collaboration with Big Sean, my boy, on the Metro Attitude High. Um, expect to actually see no resale value on these. Um, probably about 200 to 220 which is just making your money back, especially if you pay for shipping and tax. So yeah, this is a kind of trap. Um, 
dope shoe, but um, no need for it in my collection. And no resale value, so I will not be getting a pair of these. And if you want them for yourself, definitely be on your game because they're going to sell out. But just um, avoid buying them in <laughs> not your size. <laughs> so, um, so now we have the Concepts collaboration with Brooks Running on the Chariot. This is um, the Merlot collab. Never thought I would... Concepts has collaborated with... In the past month, I've collaborated with... Let me think if I can do this. Asics. Um... Patrick Ewing, Converse, was there something else, nah, so, and then Brooks Running, so, a little strange, this probably sell out very slowly, I just wanted to throw it in there, because I thought it was kind of interesting, I kind of like how they're doing this, definitely a dope shoe, um, I think I would be feeling it a little bit more, if they did something a little different than the three paneling, three different color paneling, I don't know, I'm not a shoe designer, so, Whatever, definitely with the, the, the dope shoe. I like that Merlot and the red, and really, really vibrant, dope. All right, so this, the love hate, Harachi pack. There's also um the trainer, but who, who really cares? <laughs> the um, um the Harachi, uh trainer, and then the flight are the two that will probably sell out. Um, but again, have no resale value, so I hate that. I wish I could have waited to get the Flight Hirachi, because I really want that shoe right there. Um, but just, I cannot swing it right now. Um, maybe if I cop several thousand pairs of what the LeBrons. <laughs> now, I, no, I, I'm not, I wouldn't, <laughs> I, I've already bought too much, you'll see. You'll see, just wait for that unboxing video, dog. Oh my god. So, yeah, the resale on these will be very, um, low. Uh, basically, probably not. Probably not gonna make. I mean, just be looking to make your money back if you're trying to flip these. Um, if you buy the wrong size or whatever. Um, so just uh, keep that in mind. So, but if you want these, you gotta be on the ball still. They're going to slowly sell out, um, and probably won't make it through the day in the U.S. So now we have the Kobe Nine Flannet Low University Red. With it also go in the dark. Um, so these. Just like all the other Flynet Lows will struggle to hit 250. This is going to be lower than the Beethoven, I can guarantee it, but higher than the Moonwalker. Just because it glows in the dark, which is... Uh, but, I mean, this I think would have been a dope Christmas shoe. Especially with that green. I don't know why they didn't do that. I think that would have been pretty dope. But, yep, yeah, no reason value on these again. So, with all these releases, I mean, Nike's going to crash. Things are going to crash. Um, what the LeBron 11? Um, U.S. release. There's still going to be a few other overseas places releasing, but these are actually selling out at Euro prices, which is um about 380. And then if you get hit with um, uh, what the fuck is it? Customs. That I'm predicting that you're going to be paying over resale. So I'm saying that these are going to be about 400, 450 first day, and then slowly drop down to three, and then about like three. And I don't mean in the threes. I mean so probably 375, three, maybe 350. I doubt it. Um, I'm gonna predict high on these actually. I'm gonna say 375, and then they're gonna pull a Ronnie Feig, and then skyrocket by about Christmas time, maybe a little bit after, once everybody who <laughs> Um, doesn't have the money to flip or hold on to that. He had those funds tied up. The, all those pairs are gone. And then people who are still going to want to cop are going to be steadily growing to five and then probably cap at about six. Um, by the this time next year, I would say it's probably going to be about 600. So, yeah. What's the LeBron 11? Everybody wants it. Your, your mom, your grandma, your daddy. So, what LeBron 11 is going to be very hard to get, and but the good chance, uh, the good thing is the resale is not too bad um, if you budget it right, and it's going to be a lot of pairs. So don't be expecting to drop that grand like the LeBron 10. So this is the market watch. Actually, before the shoes come out, well, most of the shoes. Not my fault they're releasing during the middle of the week. Like who does that? But this, so dope. Um, dope week for sneakers. Um, wish I had some more spending money, but I do not. So, um, good luck this week, guys. Don't forget to stay lubricated.